Hey, what's going on guys? I'm gonna do another little uh, video here about uh, the salt water. This video is gonna be on two important things that I've learned since I've had this tank up and running, which is only eight days now I've had it up and running, and I haven't seen anybody else talk about it in any other videos, and I think it's kinda important. Now the first, they're actually both pretty linked together, but the first one is evaporation. You will lose anywhere, I'm, I'm assuming, depending on your tank size, of course, this is a 29 gallon, going to be a Fowler tank only. Uh, anywhere, you're going to lose anywhere between a half a gallon to five gallons of water a day, just in evaporation alone. Now, I lose probably a half a gallon a day, which is why it sounds like a waterfall in here right now. But last time I filled this up was maybe two days ago. I usually fill it up to about here and I've you know lost that much already and the other one when you lose all that it creates all of this salt see that I mean that shit is everywhere I guess they call it salt creep I'm not sure like I said I'm new at this but I mean that shit is everywhere when the water evaporates the salt just I mean everything gets covered in it I mean look at that my light, you can't see that, but once again, I mean, the side of your tank, I mean, everything just gets covered in that shit. It's real, there, you can kind of see it, see if I wipe, see, look at that, I mean, it's everywhere, and I, I guess you could cover it to stop the evaporation and the salt creep, but I don't want to cover this tank simple fact that's more money I gotta spend so this is after oh man I don't know maybe three days of not cleaning it that's what it looks like after only like three days yeah I mean it, the shit is just everywhere man it's a nuisance I mean, look at that I don't know if you should put it back in your tank but that's what I do I just usually just throw it right back in the tank because I don't want to dust it all over the floor or whatnot. But anyways, yeah, that's just a quick little video I wanted to do on uh, two pretty important things I think that I don't see anybody else really talk about when you're doing salt water is the fact of how much water actually evaporates out of your tank a day which will lead to that salt creep. So you pretty much got to clean that shit every day. I mean, pretty much every day you're going to have to deal with cleaning that off. If not, like I said, this is like three or four days and that's what happens. I mean, it just gets everywhere. All over the sides of the tank. You can't really see it, but trust me, it's it's all over the tank. It's not so bad over here. Like right now, I'm not even getting any. But from what I understand, it's from the water splashing and evaporating and all this and that. And I don't have a whole lot of splashing going on. So I don't know. I'll have to look more into it. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one. Peace.